Hello ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you. If you can see my screen and can hear my voice clearly, kindly type in hi in the comment section so that I can confirm we are all on the same page and get the session started. So simply type in hi, let me be sure. All right, um, let's see this. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, thank you very much, Carrie. Good morning to you. Hashitaka, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Or oh, Tisha, hi, how are you? Gelsey, hello. Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to yet another promising session of Extra and Speed Life, hosted by my humble self, Sharif Daramola. And as usual, I will be taking you on a trading journey in the next one hour where we shall be evaluating the financial market using an array of technical parameters to identify trading opportunities lining up for us today. So as we get ourselves prepared for the New York session, we are definitely going to go through the pairs we deliberated on yesterday. We have a couple of we have a, um, an array of pairs that we are looking at since the beginning of the week. We are going to be looking at how well those pairs are doing. And let's see if we have any opportunity lining up for us today. And um, I will advise that we all stay tuned in to the end of the session so that you don't miss out on any, any, any of the advices or opinions I will be sharing. So um, if you have any pair you want us to look at and any commodity you want us to look at, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Let's try and inculcate it in our session very early on so that we don't um, get caught up in a rush towards the end of the session. So before we start, there is something I also want to share with us today. We have um, a major event coming up in, I think, two or three hours from now. And that is the retail sales, which is probably going to be affecting price movement on the dollar pair. So we want to be looking out for this pair today. We want to be looking out for this release happening today. So if we have positions running, we are going to be moving our stop loss to lock in some profit so that we don't get caught up in any sudden move that's likely going to be happening as a result of this event. So let's dive into the chat and let's see what is happening today. So the first pair we are going to be looking at as usual is the US oil. And what do we have on the US oil? Um, first of all, we want to be looking at what our expectations were yesterday. And um, if we look at what's happening here, uh, during the course of yesterday's trading session, we had um, this parameter that is the bullish trend line here, the purple line on your screen, that is expected to serve as our guide for the trading session yesterday and what do we have we can see that the price movement has been respecting this bullish trend line since the beginning of the week we saw the first move here on monday and we saw our price rose into the 90 dollar area and then we saw price come back into the bullish trend line after which we saw price come back again to the upside so our plan yesterday was that, okay, fine, since we have this kind of scenario, we have two possibilities that we will be looking forward to on the US oil. The first scenario we were looking forward to, we were around this point yesterday, if you remember, we were around this point yesterday during the live session where I was telling you 
that it appears price is respecting that bullish trend line one more time but we don't want to get too excited we want to wait for a signal to happen and that signal is likely going to come in the form of a breakout of the 88 dollar level which was identified yesterday and you can see what happened yesterday we saw a breakout of that structure and then price came back to do a retest during the later part of the New York session yesterday. So we actually took advantage of this move at this point. And as price continued to the upside, remember I told you that we should move our stop loss to break even considering um, the long term bearish momentum we have here. Remember, we have a long term bearish momentum. And as well, we also have a structure at the $90 mark, which has been rejected a couple of times since the beginning of the week. I will show you that. So we had the first rejection here on Monday around the $90 level. And then we had the second one during the New York session on Tuesday. We had one here. So we are saying, okay, fine, because of the multiple rejection of this level, we want to be very cautious as this might likely be a selling niche for participants in this market to push price to the downside from this point. So in that regard, because of this information we had here, we said we are going to be moving our stop loss to break even as soon as price moves in our direction. So lo and behold, what do we have? We had the we had price move about how many pips that is? About um let's see about a hundred pips there about before we saw price coming back into the 88 dollar level which was our entry zone so right now we were stopped out at this trade as at this morning i was stopped out on this trade and um we have we closed that break even but one thing we also want to take into consideration today is that we can see our participants uh, we can see our price has been rejecting that bullish trend line since last week and we have a couple of rejections at this point so um for the US oil, what I'll be thinking right now is to be taking advantage of the move right above this key level here at the $88 level. So I'm still looking forward to a bullish momentum here. Look at this candle that closed here a couple of hours ago. We have this hammer candle, which is also a very strong bullish signal, though we had the bearish engulfing candle afterwards, but it still gives us a clue into the strength of the buyers at this point in the market so what i want to be looking forward to since we already had a breakout of the structure giving us a signal that we have been waiting for then a multiple rejection of this area is also a good place for us to take advantage of a bullish momentum so like i said yesterday if price continue to the upside from the 88 dollar level we want to ensure that we lock in our position to guard against any sudden pullback that could happen so this is the setup we were expecting yesterday so the first thing i will do right now is to scale up to the higher time frame this is um for those who are not part of the session since monday so that you can have an holistic perspective on what our expectations were before we got to this point in the market so now let's go up to the daily time frame and on the daily time frame the first thing we will observe is the price action has been on a very strong bullish momentum since the beginning of the year and as a result of that we were able to identify this resultant bullish trend line after connecting the series of lower highs now after connecting the series of lower highs giving us that bullish trend line we also identified a key level right around the 85 dollar level and if we look at the structure since the later part of last year we can see how sellers use this area as a selling niche and we saw our price was rejected the 85 dollar level between the month of october and november and price rad declined down into the bullish trend line hereby respecting that bullish trend line one more time and then we saw a breakout retest of the structure during the month of january this year which led into price picking at around the 130 dollar level and afterwards, we saw a consolidation phase where price action retraced right back into somewhere around the bullish trend line and also the key level at the $85 area. And if we look at what has been happening since the month of August, we saw how the key level area and the bullish trend line area has been a major niche for buying power. We can see multiple rejections from this area giving us a clue into how strong that level is for a possible bullish momentum 
that could happen from this point that is we could have a scenario where price respects this level one more time to push price to the upside or we could be having a breakdown of that key level or the bullish trend line here where a retest to structure will give us further confirmation to join a decline so you can see from what i've explained so far here that we are right within a very very strong and sensitive area that we need to look out for important structures that will be guiding our action going forward so with the information we have here on the daily time frame let me delete this so that we can have a clean chart so with the information we have here on the daily time frame let's zoom into what has been happening since the beginning of this month of september and we if you zoom in we'll notice this impulsive move to the downside which broke through the bullish trend line that has been supporting price action on a bullish momentum so we saw the breakdown and whenever we see a breakdown of structure like this we want to be mindful as there is a possibility that we could be having a momentum shift evolving behind the scenes so we saw the breakout we saw a retest price came to as far as the 81 dollar level before we started seeing a bullish momentum going forward now from a technical perspective, whenever we see a breakout of structure like this, we normally expect that price will come back to do a retest of the structure that was broken to probably give us a, um, a signal of a trend continuation. And that is probably going to be something like this, where we saw the breakout of the bullish trend line here. Price came into the $81 level and then it's likely that price will be rejecting that bullish trend line one more time to send price going to the downside or we could be having a breakout of that bullish trend line where a trend continuation to the upside could be happening so now with this information we have here how do we intend to trade the us higher going forward now if we scale down to lesser the four hours time frame to have an a pictorial understanding of what has been happening in the last two weeks on this pair the first thing we will observe here is that since the beginning um since the beginning of last week we have been seeing bullish momentum after testing the 81 dollar level giving us a clue of a possible bullish momentum that could be happening now if you if i give you a visual representation of what i'm talking about here we can see that um since the beginning of the month we saw this impulsive move to the downside getting into the $81 level and then we started seeing multiple rejection of that area as price broke out of that trend line to start finding higher highs and higher lows giving us a clue of a um, bullish trend continuation pattern so we can see multiple rejection and then we saw this engulfing candle taking us right above the $88 level we were able to identify yesterday so now that we had the breakout of structure, remember we had this breakout of structure yesterday and I told you that a retest of structure should give us a confirmation to join the rally and if a rally happens, we want to be moving our stop loss to break even to protect against any sudden pullback that is likely to happen here. And then we moved our stop loss and price actually came back into our entry zone taking us out at break even so now going into the new york session today how do we intend to take advantage of any possibility that is likely to come up on the u.s oil well we have two scenarios as usual that we want to be looking at hold on a second let me i want to bring this one out here so we have two scenarios we want to be looking at and this key level at the 88 dollar is going to be our guide for today so now what do we want to be seeing here right now with the present structure we have here and as price as we have said that price has consistently respected this bullish trend line since the beginning of the week um, we want to be buying the US oil right above the 88 dollar level so we want to see a scenario where price continue to the upside we already have a breakout of the 88 dollar level we saw price come back to do a retest of structure here in fact we had multiple rejection of this 88 dollar level we had one here two three four five and then we had the six candle running on the four hours time frame right now so we want to be buying the us oil right above the 88 dollar level as we want to see a scenario where a trend continuation to the upside is going to be happening so that's how we intend to trade the us oil that's how we intend to buy the us oil this morning however 
if at any point in time we see or we cite or witness a significant breakdown of this bullish trend line um, I want us to see that as a as a bearish signal but remember we don't want to get too excited at this point as there is a possibility that it could be a false one but what we want to be doing is to wait for further confirmations to happen and if that confirmation is going to happen we want to be looking at a retest of the structure you can look out for a retest of that bullish trend line that is the purple line on your screen or the key level at the 88 dollar level where we want to be citing reversal patterns on lower time frame or multiple rejection of this level or patterns that supports a trend continuation to the downside to join the decline here now if we are going to be buying or selling the US oil where will our take profit target be well if we look at the current structure we had on the daily time frame hold on a second let me share with you what our expectations are if we look at what is happening on the daily on this on the daily time frame remember we had this bullish trend line the black one here which was broken during the heli later part of the month of august stroke the first few days of the month of september we saw the breakdown of that bullish trend line and we saw price coming back into this area so and we can see our, our price has been rejecting the 85 dollar level giving us a clue that we might be having a bullish momentum going forward but we are not sure yet as we still have a very strong consolidation phase since the beginning of this month so the only thing that will give us further confirmation that a bullish trend continuation is going to be happening here on a long term is a break back above that bullish trend line where a retest of either the structure or this bullish trend line will give us further confirmation to be joining a long term bullish perspective here however like i said if a breakdown of this trend line happens then we might be looking forward to price coming back into the descending channel we identified on the four hours time frame here so now like i said earlier where will our take profit target be at this point well our take profit target will be somewhere around the 90 dollar 50 cent area let me delete this so that we can have a clean chart so if we are buying the us oil here we want our take profit target to be somewhere around the 90 dollar 50 cent area or and the 92 dollar area so somewhere around here looks most appropriate and the reason why that is is simply because we want to see how price action is going to relate to that bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame so are we going to be having a rejection of that level to send price crashing to the downside or are we going to be having a breakout of that level to give us an inclination of a trend continuation to the upside so that is why we want to have our take profit target around that area let's see how price is going to relate with that level then we will be making a decision if price is going to be going to the downside or not now that is the first scenario then the second scenario we're looking at is that if price breaks down this 88 dollar level which also shares a confluence with the bullish trend line we were able to identify here a retest of structure will give us a confirmation to be joining the decline to the downside and if a decline happens where will our take profit target be well if we look at the structure we have here we can see that we have a descending channel running and if we have a breakdown of that structure we might be having a situation where price breaks down the 85 dollar level retest the structure to send price back into the support level of the descending channel now where will our take profit target be where we will be looking at somewhere around this between the 78 and the 80 dollar area as a take profit target on a long-term perspective but there is a caveat to this remember what i told you yesterday i told you that if price if we are selling this and price comes right into the 85 dollar level remember this is a very strong and significant level we identified on the daily time frame we want to be locking our profit that is move your stop loss to break even or locking some profits because we never can tell how price is going to relate with this level we might be having another rejection that will be sending price going up or we have a breakdown retest of structure then if that happens then we could we could be adding more position to our selling position so this is how we intend to trade it as soon as price comes into this area if the selling momentum happens we want to be locking our profit or moving stop loss to break even to protect our position so that's how we want to be selling if a selling signal 
happened. So if you have any question regarding what I've just discussed so far, feel free to drop a word or two in the comment section and let's see how I can be of help in that regard. So in the next 10 to 15 seconds, I'll be reading through the chat to see if there are any inquiries regarding what I've discussed before we move to the next pair. So let's see what's happening here. Hello 359, good morning to you. Glad to have you around. Did I see you yesterday at all? I'm not sure. Same thing with Ashitaka too as well. I'm not sure I saw Ashitaka yesterday. All right, 610, good morning. All right, um, Baoba22, good morning to you. Nina says she's, he or she is hearing an echo. Are you sure that is? Please confirm if you're hearing an echo over there. Please, I need someone to confirm that. Ah, because of my monitoring device here, I'm not sh I'm not observing anything like that. Okay, 359. All right. Okay. I have okay, I think I'm not sure I saw you anyway, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Someone just confirmed that the quality of the sound is okay. Please, Nina, you might want to refresh your hub or restart your app so that you can be get a better audio quality please oh that's true Ashitaka yes that's true you asked after US index let's see if we are going to be doing that today I would I will try to make sure that we inculcate this today sorry okay thanks for the confirmation sound quality is good okay um five seven nine okay Nina wants us to do USD JPY well, USD JPY reached 145 level today. Ah, well, I have a selling position on USD JPY anyways, but we will look at USD JPY as well. I think we, we will look at it. Don't worry. So let's move on to the next pair here. So the next pair we are going to be looking at is, um, let me see, let me see. Okay, US Tech. Okay, we are going to be looking at US Tech. So uh, what's happening on US Tech? Okay, US tech is profitable at this point. Um, so let's quickly run through what our expectations were yesterday, after which we'll go through um, how we got to this point for those who are not part of um, the session at the beginning of the week. So yesterday, we were around here yesterday. Where were we yesterday? We were around this point yesterday, I guess. Uh, let's go to the one hour time frame. Um, okay. So we were around here yesterday where we saw this, um, I think this candle was about closing yesterday. We were around this point yesterday. And um, if you remember how important I said the $12,000 level is, number one is a very strong psychological level considering the round figure of this price. And secondly is the neckline of the reversal pattern we identify on the IR time frame, if you remember. but. I will be sharing that later on during this during this video but one thing we want to do right now is to look at what our expectations are so we said yesterday that um, as long as price continues to reject the neckline at the twelve thousand dollar level we want to be having a buy position right above that level and if we look at what has been happening since this massive impulsive move to the downside which i actually missed personally since price we saw this massive move to the downside here and then what happened we saw our price as consistently rejected the twelve thousand dollar level giving us a clue into the strength of the buyers at this juncture in the market so because of this i was able to look for look for a buy position right above the twelve thousand dollar area somewhere around the twelve thousand and forty dollar area and since then price has been moving to the upside since the later part of the new york session yesterday and if you are taking advantage of this move as i did kudos to you for being on standby to take advantage of that move and right now we will be in about let's see about the 120 pips they are about on this one so the next thing we want to be doing 
right now is to lock in some profit or move your stop loss to break even to protect your position against any sudden pullback. Remember, we are on a bearish momentum right now considering what happened since the beginning of the week we saw this move to the downside and what we are looking forward to is um there is a likelihood that price will come into the sell zone here where we'll be looking for reversal patterns to probably join a trend continuation to the downside from this point so move your stop loss to break even at this point and let's see how price action will play out so now let's take a quick look at what is happening on the higher time frame and then we go back to see how we intend to trade the US tech, especially for those who missed this move yesterday. So going to the daily time frame, what are we going to see? Now on the daily time frame, we look at the current structure we have here on the daily time frame. We can see that price has been on a very strong bearish momentum here. And this is evident after connecting the series of lower highs to give us this resultant bearish trend line. So we have those results and bearish trend line since the beginning of the year. And what, what did you notice? We noticed that price has consistently respected this bearish trend line. Now, if we zoom into what has been happening in the last couple of months here, we can see price was caught within an ascending channel after evolving right out of this reversal pattern we identify here looks like a double bottom structure we saw the second touch then we saw the breakout of the neckline at the twelve thousand dollar area we saw the retest of structure sending price to as far as the thirteen thousand seven hundred dollar area then we saw price come back into the channel then we saw the breakdown of the channel as price comes back into the neckline at the twelve thousand dollar level multiple rejection and we saw higher highs price comes back into the bearish trend line here and look at how significant that area is we can see that this level this zone here shares a confluence with the support level of the ascending channel we have the support level of the ascending channel here and then we have the bearish trend line of the long-term bearish trend line we identified here price met here and we saw this big bang price coming right back into the neckline and what did we see yesterday we saw another multiple rejection of the twelve thousand dollar area so you will agree with me that this area here it's a very very sensitive area we need to be cautious of so that's why i'm asking us to move our stop loss to break even if you are taking advantage of that bullish momentum that we that evolved yesterday so now that we have the scenario here and we can see our price has consistently rejected the neckline at the twelve thousand dollars since the beginning of the month of september how we going to see a trend continuation to the upside from here that will lead into the breakout of this bearish trend line retest to push price to the upside that is one scenario or are we going to be witnessing a scenario where price comes into the sell zone which also shares a confluence with that bearish trend line and send price breaking the neckline area retest it and push to the downside that's a second scenario and the third scenario is are we going to be having an outright breakdown of the twelve thousand dollar area where a retest or structure will give us further confirmation to join the decline so we actually have three scenarios we want to be looking forward to on the us tech this week but for today what are we going to be doing right now is to scale down to the one hour time frame let's look at the structure we have on the one hour time frame and let's see if we have an opportunity if we're going to be having a trend continuation let's see if for those who missed that opportunity yesterday if the market will give us a second chance always likely will be having a breakdown of the neckline here to push price to the downside so let's scale into the one hour time frame so now on the one hour time frame what do we have here now if we look at the structure we have here in the last um let's see 48 hours now we saw the multiple rejection of the twelve thousand dollar area we see how so that's a sign that um, that level is strong for buying power then we saw price go to the upside and what we noticed here in the last 12 hours is that price has been caught within a consolidation phase as participants are actually not sure if it's good if the US tech is still cheap enough to continue the rally or there is a likelihood that we could still be having a price crash and remember we have a major event coming up today um, 
in two hours time i think is it two or three hours time now we have the retail sales coming up which is also a very very um uh, important event that has that has a likelihood of having an influence on price movement today so these are the things that participant e market are actually looking forward to so it could be a catalyst for a bullish momentum or it could be a catalyst for a trend continuation to the downside so let's get ourselves prepared for this um scenarios so now what we want to do right now is to look out for what the structure here is telling us we want to see what is happening here so what in in order to do that we'll scale down to the 15 minutes time frame and on the 15 minutes time frame what do we see here on the 15 minutes time frame so let's look at it closely so i want to be shifting this uh, okay let me move it right to the side so i want to see what's happening here so now on the 15 minutes time frame we have this consolidation phase after this impulsive move that started during the new york session yesterday we saw this consolidation phase so we want to identify what this consolidation phase is doing right now in order to do that we bring out our line chart to have a specific point to so to connect so now the first thing i will do here is to connect the series of lower highs here and what do we have we have this setup here that is one and then i want to have a support level which is somewhere around the $12,100 area as you can see if we move down into the past we can see how that level so we have somewhere around the 12,000 12,120 so let's give this a label for the sake of clarity we have $12,120 level. I hope I'm right there. I think so. So we have the we have it like that. Let's go back to our candle chart. So now if we look at the structure here, why am I identifying this $12,120? Now look at the structure we have here in the past. We can see what happened. Um yesterday we saw rejection here by the sellers pushing price to the downside back into the key level here. We saw multiple rejection before we saw the breakout. We saw a breakout, multiple rejection of this level. We saw a breakdown of this level, then a breakout. And since then, we have been seeing price rejecting this area. So we, you will agree with me that um, this level has been a major determinant of price action in the past. And what we want to be doing now is to see how this candle is going to close. So are we going to be having a breakdown of the structure? If a breakdown happens, then a retest could probably send price going down. But remember, we still have a key level here at the $12,000 area, which is something we need to be careful of. Because if we are going to be selling the US tech, we want to see an outright breakdown of the $12,000 level. That's a, song, is a, a, a very strong, significant level. We want to see selling momentum taking out all the buying position from this area before we want to be thinking of selling the US tech. So now that we have this, so let's see how this candle close. Are we going to be having breakdown retest of structure? Then if we have a breakdown retest of structure, if you are a counter trend trader, remember those who took advantage of this move yesterday have moved their stop loss to break even at this point to protect our position because we never can tell what is going to be happening today so if we see a breakdown retest of the structure if you are a short-term trader you might want to take a move right into the twelve thousand dollar area which will give you about um let's see about 80 pips 80 to 90 pips they are about to take on this one but if you are a long-term trader we want to be patient enough to see how this market is going to play out now for a bullish momentum here as long as price is still right above the twelve thousand dollar area we want to be looking for buying possible opportunities and if we are going to be doing that let's look at this impulse leg let's take this impulse leg into consideration and let's see if this retrace this consolidation phase is probably inciting a retracement phase back into our golden zone area where reversal pattern could send price going to the upside so this is what i want to be looking forward to for buying opportunity so now taking the um, impulse leg here into consideration I want to be bringing out my Fibonacci retracement tool 
run it through the previous impulse leg here and identify the golden zone area between the 50 and the 78.6 percent of that previous impulse leg so we have a possible temporary buy zone let me call it temporary at the moment because we are not sure because of this strong bearish momentum that has gripped the market since the beginning of um, of last week let's see so I want to give this a yellow uh, let's give this a green and give the box a yellow so we have something like this so now let's see how price is going to react with this level um, let me readjust this uh, So that's our key level here. This is our key level at $12,000 area. And um, we want to see how price is going to relate with this zone here, right between the $12,050 area and the $12,100 area. So we want to see if we are going to be having a reversal pattern here. If we have a reversal pattern within this area, a re breakout retest to structure, we want to be joining the rally from that point. So that means it's a trend continuation to the upside. So right now, price is right within the $50 retracement. So we have price right above the $12,100 area. So let's see how price is going to relate with this level. So that's what we want to be looking forward to. So for those who missed this move yesterday, let's look forward for buying opportunities right within this temporary zone, temporary buy zone area. Let's look out for a basal pattern. It could be at inverse head and shoulder pattern it could be a falling wedge whatever it is look out for breakout retest of structure in your lower time frame then you can join the rally from here then if we have a breakout retest of the twelve thousand one hundred and twenty dollar area here we have a retest then we can't be adding more position to the straight and that retest is likely going to align with this trend line that we have here so let's see how price plays out but if at any point in time during the New York session we, we witness an outright breakdown of the key level at the $12,000 area, we want to see that as a bearish signal. And if a bearish signal like this happens, remember, we don't want to get too excited as we want to wait for price action to give us further confirmation in the form of a retest of the structure where we look out for patterns on lower time frame to join the decline to the downside so this is how we want to trade the us tech today so let's see what happens in the next 24 hours on this one so if you have a question please feel free to drop a word or two in the comment section and let's see if we can be of help in that regard so three four four three is new you're welcome on board thank you to have your thank glad to have you around i hope to hope you stay tuned into the end of the session to be part of um our preparation for the new york session today and if you hope if you have any pair you want us to look at feel free to drop it in the comment section and let's see how we can work around that hi max how are you good morning trust you're doing well it's been a while Mottenberg, okay, good. Glad to have you. SMT223, hi, how are you? So I will keep on checking the chat to see if there are any questions or any comments. So let's move on to um, the next pair right now. The next pair is the AUDUSD. I think we have um, 20 more minutes. Let me quickly see how I can squeeze all this in within that short time frame. So let's go to the AUDUSD. So what are we having on the AUD USD? Um, I had a, I had to move my stop loss this morning to break even on the AUD USD because of the uh, bearish signal I was saying. Um, but one thing we observed here yesterday was that um, we expecting that this area. I think we were around this area yesterday. Let me see where that is. We were around here yesterday. We saw a scenario where. Um, we were seeing a reversal pattern around this point and remember price was doing a consolidation phase right within the demand zone we identified on the daily time frame so I will show you that in a moment but let's quickly run through what our expectations were yesterday after which we will talk about um, that so yesterday we 
we, we saw the structure here following this impulsive move to the downside. We saw the structure here, which looks more like a reversal pattern. And because of this, we were able to identify a level at around the 0 0.67400 area. And what we saw, we said was that if we see an outright breakout of that structure, followed by multiple rejection or a retest of structure, we want to be joining the rally, which I did yesterday. And this is what I saw. And then before the start of the session, I will, I quickly moved my stop loss to break even. Like I said yesterday, considering the long-term bearish momentum here, we want to be locking our profit as soon as price moves in our direction. So what happened right now price has come back into our entry zone and remember price is still within the buy zone we identified on the daily time frame so that is our expectation here so if you are taking that move you will have been break even at this point so let's see if we still have a bullish opportunity for us this week so we scale up to the daily time frame let's see what we have on the daily time frame and then we'll make a decision based on that so on the daily time frame we are on a very strong bearish momentum here and we can see that price has been respecting this bearish trend line since the beginning of the year i think somewhere around somewhere in the month of april price has consistently respected it finding lower lows and lower heights but something interesting happened since the month of july we can see our price has consistently rejected the demand zone right around the 0 0.6300 level making that area a very strong demand zone and because of this demand zone here we were looking forward to a bullish trend continuation where price will continue to the upside from this point and that was the reason why we had that bullish perspective at the beginning of the week however we saw this impulsive move to the downside during the um cpi release on is it on tuesday yes we saw that massive impulsive move to the downside price coming back into the demand zone at around the 0 0.67300 area and during the course of yesterday we saw a rejection the scandal is yet to close we don't know if price will continue to respect that demand zone at this point but if price does not respect that demand zone and continue to the downside the only way i would want to sell the AUD USD is to see price break out of this demand zone. That is, want to see price um, take out all the sell position, all the buy position here, where we see a signal like this. We see a breakdown out of the structure, and that if that happens, remember we are not getting too excited. We want to be patient enough to wait for price to give us further confirmation to join the decline. So we will be looking forward to a retest of the structure, where multiple rejection will send price going to the downside so that is the scenario we want to be looking forward to here now to to support this bearish momentum here what we want to be looking forward to is a key level that will guide our action here so in order to do that let's bring out our line chart and if we connect the series of support level here at 0 0.67300 area here we have something like this uh, you can see our price has consistently respected that level so we have the 0 0.67300 level here identified let's label it for the sake of clarity so we have the 0 0.6300 level let me place it right at the bottom of this right hand side here and then we have okay so we have the 0 0.67300 level here so we have a key level to guide our action for any selling momentum here so now that we have the scenario one thing i want to see is a close below this level so let's see what's happening on the four hours time frame if we have an inclination in that direction so on the four hours time frame here we can see this candle is here to close it's still about two hours hold and you see have about two hours 13 minutes left for it to close so we want to see that candle close to give us that signal if we see a breakdown of that level then we wait for price to give us confirmation in the form of a retest of the structure then we look out for patterns of lower time frame to join the decline to the downside on the AUD USD so patience is really really required on this one and if price continues 
if price wants to continue to the upside that is respect that demand zone one more time then we look forward to uh, a breakout of the 0 0.67400 area and then a retest will give us confirmation to join the rally to the upside and if we are joining the rally to the upside we should have our take profit target at the key level here at the 0 0.68500 area and the reason why we have in that if you look at the structure we have here you can see that that level shares a confluence with this bearish trend line so we want to see how price is going to relate with that level are we going to be having multiple rejection of this area to push price to the downside or are we going to be having a breakout of that structure where a retest could be sending price going to the upside so because of this um setup here we want to be looking forward to uh, this area as our take profit target so somewhere around the 0 0.68100 area and the 0 0.68700 looks most appropriate to place our take profit target if any bullish opportunity comes in from this point so that's how we intend to trade the AUD USD for today. So what we are looking forward to here is the key level. We already have a key level right here at the 0 0.6300 level, which if we see a breakdown of that structure, we have a candle run at this point. If we see a breakdown of that structure, we wait for confirmations to happen in the form of a retest of that structure before we can join the decline. And then if we have a break above that 0 0.6400 level, a retest will give us a confirmation to join the rally to the upside. So that is that on the um, on the AUD USD. So we move on to the Euro USD. Now on the Euro USD, we also have a similar scenario with what we were expecting on the AUD USD. Remember, and what did we have? We have a key level at the one, $1.00 dollar level. Remember, it's a very strong psychological level. And I told you how cheap the euro, US, the euro has been. And this is going to be the lowest point the euro has ever been in the last 20 years. And participants are actually caught within a dilemma right now. We don't know if the euro is cheap enough to buy right now because of the current scenario situation in, um, in Europe regarding the what's it called um, the oil situation so we don't know if the euro is very very cheap but from a technical standpoint we can see that price is right above the demand zone and price has been caught within a consolidation phase since this impulsive move that started on Tuesday so right now we are caught within a consolidation phase and what did we do yesterday was to identify a key level right at around the 1.00 level a very strong psychological level and then we were saying if price breaks out of that level to the upside remember we are right above the demand zone if price breaks above this level then we want to be patient enough to wait for price to give us a confirmation in the form of a retest of that area to join the rally to the upside and since yesterday we have not seen anything like that we've not really seen a significant breakout of this we saw one here but it wasn't significant enough so we had to hold on for price to give us that engulfing candle taking us right out of all the selling position at this point to join the rally so we're still waiting for that to happen so let's wait and see a significant breakout probably somewhere to this area then we wait for price to give us further confirmation to join the rally to the upside so where will our take profit target be well the most appropriate place for the take profit target at this point is at around the 1.0100 level which is somewhere around here between this area and this area between the 1.0100 level and 1.016 or 700 area and the reason why that is is simply because of this bearish trend line we identified on the daily time frame we can see how this bearish trend line run through this level and then we notice if you look at the structure here we saw this double top structure and the 1.0100 level appears to be the neckline of this reversal pattern we saw the breakthrough of that neckline then we might be expecting price to come back into this area to incite a trend continuation to the downside so because of these expectations here we want to be looking forward to somewhere around here as our take profit target right between here and this area we should be dovetailing to between 100 and 150 pips they are about to expect on the euro usd 
So this is how I intend to trade this and let's stay be on standby wait for the bullish signal to happen before we want to be joining the decline the rally to the upside now if we let's scale up to the daily time frame so that i can show you an holistic perspective of why our expectation is like this so we can see on the on the daily time frame we have a bearish momentum and that was identified after collecting the series of lower highs here to give us that result and bearish trend line and one thing we notice here is that as since the month of july we can see our participants have been buying the euro right from this area at the 0 0.99 area we saw multiple rejection even in the month of august september july august and even the early month early days of the month of September, we've been seeing our participants has been buying the euro from this area. So because of this, I'm looking forward to buying the euro right around that point. That is why we are waiting for a signal right above the $1 area to be comfortable in a bullish momentum there. However, if I remember I told you about the um, major event that is coming up today, the retail sales, um, which is likely going to push the dollar we don't know if it's going to be positive or negative, but all we can do is prepare ourselves against um, any sudden movement that will happen. So, but one thing here is this: the only way, the only time I will be buying the selling the Euro USD is if I see an outright breakdown of this demand zone. That is, price takes we takes a move that takes out all the buy position here. Then, if I see that breakdown, then I will see that as a signal. Then we'll wait for further confirmation to happen in the form of a retest of the structure where I will look out for patterns on lower time frame to join the decline to the downside. So this is how I intend to trade the Euro USD. So let's prepare ourselves, be on standby to take advantage of that move when it finally happens. So I'm still thinking that we have a bullish momentum unfolding because of um, the multiple rejection of the demand zone here. But if we have an outright breakdown of this demand zone, then that's probably going to be a bullish signal, a bearish signal for us to take advantage of a selling opportunity here. So the next pair we are going to be looking at is the XAUSD, that is the gold. Let's see, the gold has been pushing to the downside from here. And um, let's see what is happening uh, on the one hour time frame first before we go to have a holistic perspective here. So on the gold, let's see, let's see. On the one hour time frame, uh, we already have a breakdown of the demand zone here. So we already have a bearish signal. We have a breakdown of the demand zone, but I'm not sure if this demand zone, if this breakdown is going to hold. But one thing we want to be doing here is to we can see as soon as price broke down that demand zone, it has been caught within a consolidation phase here. We saw this multiple rejection of this level at the $1,685.50 area. So what I want to be looking forward to here is this. Remember, this is the bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame. This dotted green line here is the bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame. So are we going to be having price give us an, a confirmation which will be in the form of a retest of this bullish trend line or this bearish trend line here where we look out for selling opportunities to join the decline to the downside. So that is something we want to be looking forward to here on the gold. However, let's take a quick look at what is happening on the IR time frame so that we can have an holistic perspective and at the same time be on the same page with um, the newcomers in the house and those who were not part of us during the beginning of the week. So right now on the daily time frame, the first thing you observe here is that price has been on a strong bullish momentum. And I was able to identify two lines here. We had this temporary bullish trend line, which has been respected since um, 2018. We And we were able to connect the series of higher lows here to give us this um, resultant temporary bullish trend line. And what do we see here in the last three months? We can see price has consistently rejected that bullish trend line here, giving us a clue into a possible bullish momentum that is likely going to be happening from this point. But we cannot conclude that this is going to be happening at this point in time because 
we still have another bullish trend line which I was able to identify on the weekly time frame here I'll hold on a second let's go to the weekly time frame you can see what has been happening since 2015 here has price respected this major bullish trend line here we saw um, rejection here and since 2019 price has not come back into that bullish trend line so there is a likelihood that we could be having the breakdown of that demand zone we identified on the daily time frame where price comes back to do to respect this bullish trend line one more time um, in the form of a reversal pattern that will be sending price going to the upside so that's one scenario we want to be looking at so because of this we need to be mindful of that area so let's scale down to the four hours time frame now and let's look at that structure once again so this is the demand zone we identified on the daily time frame remember we can see that price has consistently rejected this level so are we going to be and that level also also shares a confluence with that bullish trend line the temporary bullish trend line we identify on the higher time frame and we can see that line has been broken so we have a breakdown of that structure right now so if our you what I will be waiting for is a confirmation to happen in the form of a retest of structure. So we have quite a lot of levels here on the gold where we could be looking forward to confirmation point. So what I'll be doing here is to identify a key level by bringing out our line chart here and then connecting the last, the previous support level, which appears to be at around the $1,690 area. Okay. Is it $1,695 area? We have somewhere around here. Okay, I think. All right, so we have the $1,695 level. So let's label it for the sake of clarity. So we have, uh, okay, we have somewhere here. Um, let's delete all this one so that um, we have a clean chart. So we already have a breakdown of that level already. That's a signal already. But remember, we are not getting too excited. We want to wait for confirmations to happen. And if confirmation does not happen, we'll follow our rules. If the retest does not happen, we pass the trade. That's how we that's how we work. So what we do now is this: if price continue to uh, continue to the downside as expected, we expect that we see a retest of this level. We can see it also shares a confluence with the descending channel here. We remember we have this descending channel running since the beginning of the month of August. Let me show you. We have this descending channel running since the beginning of August. And though we had um, scenarios here where buying pressure came in, but um, it appears that the buying pressure was lost here as sellers broke through that area. So we have the scenario here, we have the breakdown of the structure. So we're likely going to be looking forward to price coming back to do the retest of the resistant level of the descending channel or the key level at the 1695 area or probably the bullish trend line that was broken on the daily time frame where we look out for patterns on lower time frame to join the decline to the downside here on the XAUUSD. So the XAUUSD is still looking very, very bearish at this point in the market. The only way if you are thinking of buying the XAUUSD, the only advice I'll be giving you right now is to look for price to break above the ski level at the 1,695. Then we want to see an outright breakout of the structure, breaks out of the resistant level of the descending channel here. In fact, come right above that bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame. After which, we'll be patient enough to wait for a confirmation to happen in the form of a retest of either the key level here the bullish trend line here to join the trend continuation to the upside so at this point in the market the gold looks very very bearish so anywhere right below the $1,695 area seems most appropriate to be looking for selling opportunities so right now that we have a breakdown of the 1695 we want to wait for price to give us a confirmation in the form of a retest of that level before we join that decline and if you're selling we wait for price to break right above that bullish trend line to the upside to take advantage of a bullish momentum here so my advice wait for selling momentums wait for seller confirmations to happen to join 
the decline. So that is that on the gold and um, I'm already out of time here. Tell, um, I'm already out of time here. So let's see how we can. Um, um, Ashitaka was asking us to do USD USD index. Let me quickly run through US index for you. Um, let's see. I think I have it. Um, DXY. Okay. So on the DXY, what do we have? Um, let's go to the daily time frame and let's see what structure we have here. Well, um, this is what's been expecting on the US DXY. Um, the dollar has been on a very strong bullish momentum since the beginning of the year. As you can see, it's evident here that price has consistently found higher highs and higher lows. And because of this, I was able to identify a channel and price has been rallying right above that channel since the month of April. And at no point in time has price run back below that channel. So price has continued to find higher highs since um, April right above that channel here but if we zoom into the structure and look at what has been happening since the month of july we will notice that um, as soon as price came into somewhere around the 110 and the 110.800 area we have been witnessing multiple rejection by the sellers around this area so what we want to be doing at this point is to be mindful of what we, how we intend to trade the DXY, the US index, if, how are you? So what I'll be doing here, the first thing I'll be doing here is to identify this area as my selling niche for participants in this market. So what I mean by that is that this area is a supply zone. As we can see, multiple rejection of that level in the past two months, given us a clue that um, the dollar might be overpriced that's that is the impression we have though we never can tell if that is what is actually happening but from a technical standpoint this is what it is saying right now that the dollar looks overpriced based on the current structure as we can see multiple rejection happening of that level so whenever price comes into this area we saw rejection we saw the first rejection here price came in to this place then we saw rejection since the later part of the month of august and into the month of September here, we've been seeing multiple rejection of that level. So what I'll be doing here is to identify a key level to guide our action going forward. So what I'll be doing is to look at the $110 level, which is a very strong psychological level as a yastic for us. I think, okay, $110, 400, sorry, 110, hold on. That's one ten point so one hundred and ten four hundred area. So let me let me place this right at the top here and then give this a gold color. So we have $110.40. So what this simply means is that it's going to guide our action. So if we continue to see price rally below this level, we want to be selling. And if price continues to rally above this area, we want to be looking for buying opportunity on this one. So how do we intend to buy this pair? The only way I want to buy this pair, if, if I see we already have an engulfing candle on Monday on the dollar index. So we want to see price break out of the structure here, the supply zone here breakout of the structure right above the $111 area. If I see a breakout of that structure, I will be patient enough to wait for price to give me further confirmation, which is likely going to come in the form of a retest of the structure where I'll be looking out for patterns on lower time frame to join the rally to the upside. However, if price continue to go to the downside here, well, how do we intend to trade this one right now? Well, somewhere around, somewhere below the $140, $110.400 appears to be most appropriate to be selling the um, the dollar index here. So let's scale down to the lower time frame. Let's see what's really happening. We already have this impulsive move right from here. Hold on. We already have this impulsive move. So we want to see how this impulsive has been in the last um, two days. Sorry, in the last two weeks now. We want to see how this impulsive move has run. How we having 
um, a, a reversal pattern here that will be sending price going back into the um, resistant level of this channel we have here where we will be looking forward to another trend continuation to the upside from this point. So now in order to decipher this we will scale down to a much lower time frame let's scale down to let's say the 15 minutes time frame here i want to see the structure around here and if we scale down to the 15 minutes time frame we have um, following this impulsive move here on the on tuesday remember we had this impulsive move on tuesday after the cpi event we saw this impulsive move and as soon as price got into the 110 dollar area we have been witnessing a consolidation phase, which looks more like a reversal pattern. We saw price come back into the key level here. Then we have price come back into 109.900, which is a lower high as price was unable to break above the previous high here. Then one thing we want to be looking forward to at this point is a breakdown of the neckline to give us that signal. Then a retest of structure to give us further confirmation to join the decline to the downside on the on this pair so this is how we intend to trade this so i'm waiting for a signal to happen if i were you to join the decline on this one so that is how we intend to trade that dxy so if you have any question whatsoever feel free to drop a word or two in the comment section and let's look at it together and um, that is that so i hope you're still in the house to confirm that you you get what i'm talking about Ashitaka, all right. All right, you're welcome, Ashitaka. Okay, so let's quickly do a recap. Um, uh, 10 minutes out of time. <sighs> so let's do a quick recap. So the first pair we looked at is the US oil. And what did we say is going to be happening on the US oil? Well, on the US oil, we still have price respecting that bullish trend. And that's this, the purple line we have here. Price has continued to respect that level. And one thing I said here is that we continue to look forward to bullish momentum here and somewhere right above the 88 dollars seems most appropriate to be taking advantage of that bullish momentum so i'm looking forward to we already have this breakout of the 88 dollar level yesterday even breaking out breaking right above the 90 dollar level which was rejected since the beginning of the week so we have a break above price comes back into the 88 dollar we had multiple rejection we had the first rejection the second rejection and we it appears we are having the third rejection at this point so right above the 88 dollar level seems most appropriate to join the rally to the upside and like i said if at any point in time during the new york session today we see an outright breakdown of this bearish of this bullish trend line we want to be seeing that as a a bearish signal and then if that happens we want to be patient enough to wait for price to give us a confirmation in the form of the retest of that structure to join the decline and i told you um we could be having our take profit i guess somewhere around the 80 dollar area and if that happens uh the 85 dollar level show once price gets into the 85 dollar level here we should be moving our stop loss to either break even or lock in some profit to protect our position as we want to see how price will relate with this strong psychological level here is the price going to reject from that point or is it going to break through that level so because of that we want to move our stop loss to break even or lock in some profit so we moved on to talk about the us tech here where i'm already in this trade i told you and because of um the multiple rejection of the twelve thousand dollar level and one thing i said here is that since the breakout of that level price climbed to as far as the twelve thousand two hundred dollar area hold on wow i think i deleted okay so price climbed to as far as the twelve thousand two hundred dollar area before we started seeing this uh indecision that has gripped the market so we were able to identify a level at the twelve thousand one twenty dollar area which is was a consolidation phase since the beginning since the last 24 hours we have seen price um rejected that level so right now we saw the breakdown of that level and we were able to detect to the um to identify a temporary buy zone here so what we said here is that we want to see um reversal patterns within the structure on lower time frame to join the rally to the upside and if we finally have a break above of the twelve thousand one twenty dollar area and price does a retest of the structure we want to add more position to our buying position here 
so remember for those who are taking advantage of this move yesterday i have told you to move your stop loss to break even at this point to protect your position against any sudden pullback that could likely happen during the um um the retail sales that is coming up in two hours so now if we are going to be selling the us tech like i said we want to see an outright breakdown of the twelve thousand dollar level which we identify here so i want to see if price takes out all the buy position here and breaks down the twelve thousand dollar level i want to wait for confirmation to happen in the form of a retail substructure where i look out for patterns on lower time frame to join the decline here so that is that then we move on to talk about the aud usd where um we are stopped out at break even yesterday and i still look forward to price breaking right above the 0 0.67400 to join the rally on this one so let's see if price is going to break above the 0 0.67400 during the new york session today um, but if it doesn't do that and price continues to go to the downside i showed you something on the higher time frame where how i want to take advantage of a sell momentum here so if price continues to go to the downside i want to see price take out all the buy position from this demand zone that we identify here so if price breaks out of this area then i want to wait for confirmations to happen in the form of a retest of structure to join the decline on the aud usd then we on the euro usd we have a similar scenario with what we have on the aud usd so on the aud usd we have a key level identified at the one dollar mark so we are waiting for that signal to happen during the new york session today and that signal is likely going to come in form of a breakout of structure remember we are right above the demand zone and because of this i want to see a buy opportunity here on the euro usd so if a breakout of the one dollar happens i want to be patient enough to wait for confirmations to happen in the form of a retest of the structure or a reversal pattern evolving into a trend continuation to the upside here so that's how i intend to buy the euro usd in fact on the euro usd i'm looking to buy the euro USD. i'm not looking for any selling opportunity here because price as long as price continues to remain right above the demand zone here i will re i will be looking for buying opportunity but if price breaks below the demand zone that is we see something like this then we will be looking for selling opportunities after we see a retest of structure so um they we went on to talk about the xau usd as well and on the xau usd the, the the gold looks more bearish at this point in the market and because of we already cited we cited a breakdown of the demand zone here and as a result of this we identified the key level right around the 1695 dollar area which has already been broken so in this regard we want to wait we want to see this as a signal then we wait for confirmations to happen in the form of a retest of either the 1695 dollar level or the bullish trend line here or the resistant level of the descending channel we identified on the higher time frame after which we look out for patterns on the lower time frame to support a trend continuation to the downside and if you are thinking that um we want to buy the xausd i told you the only way i will be buying the xausd is only if i see price come right above the demand zone that is taking out all the buy the sell position here then price breaks above the resistant level of this descending channel here and then i will be seeing that as a signal as i would wait for confirmations to happen in the form of a retest of that point that was broken to join the rally to the upside but if that does not happen we continue to look for selling momentum on the xau usd and then we close the day with the dxy that is the dollar index where we were able to identify a supply zone right on the on the four hours time frame i guess no okay on the daily time frame we identified a supply zone between the 110.400 and the 112 111 111 area so we had a supply zone and we can see our price has consistently been rejected by the sellers at this point anytime the buyers try to push price to the upside it was met with stiff resistance by the sellers here and because of this we want to be looking for selling opportunities on the dollar index however if we cite a breakout of the structure that is we already saw an engulfing candle on tuesday right into the supply zone here so what i want to be looking forward to to buy the dxy is to see an outright breakout of the supply zone that is price takes out all the sell positions here then a retest of structure 
will give me a confirmation to join the rally to the upside but if that does not happen then right below the 110.400 level appears to be most appropriate to be in a sell position and in order to confirm the sell opportunity we scale down to the 15 minutes time frame where we identify something that looks like a reversal pattern following that impulsive move that happened on tuesday and following that impulsive move we saw our price re rejected the 110 dollar level then after that, we started seeing consolidation phase, which led price back into the key level we identified on the daily time frame. And price went another high here at the 109.900 level. As you can see, price was unable to take out the previous high here, here by finding a lower high. And because of this right now, it appears structure wants to be evolving into a reversal pattern in the form of a double top structure. So in, um, what I said here is that we want to wait for signals to happen and that signal will happen in the form of a breakdown of the neckline here. If we cite a breakdown here during the New York session today, then we want to be looking forward to retest of the structure or multiple rejection of this neckline area to join the decline on the dxy so this is how we intend to trade this one today so i think on this note i want to call it a day i really appreciate every single one of you for being around with me i enjoyed every moment and i look forward to i look forward to um to seeing you tomorrow same time 1 10 a.m 10 a.m west african time sorry 10 a.m utc 11 a.m west african time and um tell your friends download the experience speed live so that i can be part of this family as we get ourselves prepared for every new york session on a daily basis so on this note i wish you best of luck during the new york session and remember do not get too excited at the sight of a signal remember there are quite a lot a lot of opportunities in the market so when a signal happens be patient enough to wait for price action to give you a confirmation before you join the potential momentum remember there are quite a lot of opportunities and if a confirmation does not happen pass the trade and wait for the next one so on this note best of luck today and bye bye